Hey, it's Carter Hutton here, NHL goalie, and coming up on the episode of I Only Touch Greatness. Okay. I had this question later on, was like, how happy were you when you guys won the lotto? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was actually crazy. I had this conversation the other day with a young kid. I help a few goalies out here, some elite kids, and they're figuring out what they want to do. And they're like, I don't know why I'm stressed. This is supposed to be fun. And I'm like, man, you know what's stressful is I, I remember when they offered me my first contract after that year, and it was like, you know, I have, I'd, I'd made a million dollars a year at that point, which is, I'm not, it's all relative to the situation, right? I know it's a ton of money. And then I got offered this contract. It was two years, 2.65. That was the first offer from Buffalo. Um, and I'm like, holy shit. My agent's like, that's a joke. Like, that's a bad offer. Like, we're not talking about that. So I've talked to my dad about it, who's this blue collar, been working in a mill his whole life. And uh, he's just <laughs> like, right on, man. Take it. Take it. What are you doing? What are you doing, you idiot? And then we ended up getting, uh, I ended up getting just over 8 million for two years, which was like, you know, absurd, right? So it's something to this day I, I found funny. The whole process, I was so stressed trying to make the right decision, but it was like, uh, I don't really think we could make a wrong one at that point. You eventually signed the big deal, a three-year deal with Buffalo. Uh, I mean, they had a ton of young stars at the time. Can you tell us about your uh, Buffalo experience? Yeah, it was it was one of those deals where I had a bunch of other like offers. There was about eight eight teams. Um, Buffalo was really the only one where they're like, hey, you're going to come here and be the guy, and you're going to get the start. And we got a young team, and we're rebuilding, and they wanted me to help Linus Allmark kind of you know, mentor him. They thought he was the goalie of the future, but they were trying to protect him. And I knew what I was getting into. I knew I was leaving a really good team in St. Louis. Um, so it was a bit, you know, we tried to figure out the right way to do it. Was it? I was prioritizing, you know, the term of the deal, how much money I was going to get. Obviously, that was important, right? I'd worked really hard to get to this point. And then the other thing that was really important to me was, was I going to get to play? Was I going to get a chance to do this? Because I didn't want to look back sitting here now, retired, being like, at least I didn't throw my hat. Like, I threw my hat in the ring and gave it a shot, right? It didn't go as planned in Buffalo by, by any means. And necessary, it doesn't just fall right on me. There was a lot of issues there. But, um, and that was the main reason I wanted to be the guy. I wanted a chance to fucking win the cup and be the starter and, and go for it and try to help them turn it around. It didn't work out, but you know, at least I can sit here now as a man and be like, you know, at least I, at least I looked it in the eye and gave it a chance. And then a bunch of your friends must've went on to win the cup eventually. Yeah. Oh yeah. The next year, St. Louis, everybody yeah. won it. And, uh, and that was good too. Like I, I was happy, you know, at that point, I, I think in my year, earlier years in hockey, it was like, fuck, if, if this guy gets hurt or like, you know, if he doesn't play well, you're going to get a chance. And like, I feel when I eliminated that way of thinking and just started being, you know, it's, it's a selfish league, right? Especially when you're in American league and you're surrounded by people that want you to succeed. Uh, you just learn like control yourself, right? Control what I can control. It goes for everything in life, right? So I'm not trying to act like a motivational speaker here by any means, but I felt when I focused myself on the right things, it was better. And even now, like, you just want everyone to do good, man. You can control what you control. So uh, it was pretty cool. And like Robert Bertuzzo is a great friend of mine, Thunder Bay boy. Yeah. So getting him him to win the cup, I we got to go see the cup, went to another cup party. So it was good. I got a lot of cup parties under my belt. <laughs> yeah, bringing a bunch of them. 